Hello and welcome back to Esthar. This is Final Fantasy VIII. I'm KS Blue, and it is it is for serious time now. So uh, let's go do something about that. That's pretty much the plan. Uh, wait. Wait a second. Oh hey, I didn't know there was a save point right there. Hmm. Um. Hmm. I see. Okay. No. That's that's not happening. Not right now, at least. We could go back to the presidential palace to get something like really minor. Uh, but I don't want to. Yes, we are here to see the doctor. Dr. Odine is in a good mood right now. He hasn't been this tearful for quite a while. In we go. Draw point! Double! I don't want double. So I should probably mention, when I get the chance, this is what my levels look like now. This is a little bit higher than I would prefer on Irvine, but, well, what you gonna do? Pretty much. Zell, Zell is holding me back a little bit. But uh, this should be high enough to get what I want. I also have plenty of Malboro tentacles. Uh, somewhere. Ah, nine. Which is enough for, uh, not only for the, the, uh, GF, the, uh, the ring, but also for, uh, making ultimate weapons. Because there's like one or two ultimate weapons that need Malboro tentacles. Why is the lunatic Pandora here now? Who is moving that thing? Go bad in, sir. They're the ones that salvaged it. We must sound the alert in the city now. I, it will not attack us. The city is not the target. But here's point. Hmm? So we meet again. This is exciting. Good question. <laughs> it's been a long time since I last saw these lunatic Pandora. The uh, yeah, what is it? Spill the beans. Oh, you want to hear my story? Is that? Is nice. I, you know, I'm really not liking this accent. I like how it sounded at first, but I feel like it's going more, it's going wildly out of my control. <laughs> I've been <laughs> investigating the Pandora since it was excavated, so we serviced it and investigated. I think Zell wants the short version. Uh, yeah. Although, I don't know, personally, I'd like to know the history behind this thing. He said he excavated it, which means it existed before Esther got to it. But I get the impression that it is an actual, um... Well, I mean, is it like a place or a device? Or You know what? I don't know. It's weird, okay? It's very mysterious, is what I'm saying. Yeah, uh, that is true. The enemy is coming. We'll do something about it. Just tell us what to do. Make it short, man. That is too bad. Yes, 
This could be very bad. You want to go inside to stop it? Then look at this! This is a map of the SR region. Lunatic Pandora's current location is here! Its expected course will undoubtedly pass over the city. The city has one outer skyway and two main inner skyways, all leading to the palace. The Lunatic Pandora will head east from the vicinity of this lab towards the shopping mall. The time it will take to cross the city is estimated to be uh, about 20 minutes. Boarding the G Lunatic Pandora is possible at the three following contact points. The first is at the center of the city after it's already halfway gone. It will arrive there five to ten minutes eh, close enough after entering the city. This second contact point is unknown. We believe it is where the two skyways cross. So, I just want to point out, it gets about halfway through in about five to eight minutes. It gets, and let's call that 80% through in 10 to 15 minutes. And the last five minutes are... Okay, that is straight up outside the city. Come on! Come on! <laughs> I do know precisely where that is. But, uh, I know the dir I actually don't know how to get to the second one. Off the top of my head. I know how to get to the first and third. Uh... Yeah. It's not that it really matters. I've encountered times none. Uh... I will get there with plenty of time. Because, uh, yeah, we're gonna have a timer. That is how it goes. I give you this. Look at it. Wait, uh, no, he gave us, uh, he gave us the map. What is the problem? I want to talk some more. The culprit is not Galbadia. Oh. What do you want? Ah, so now you want to know. You know that monsters come falling from the moon? Not very often that it happens. You don't know? Pandora has an effect on the moon! That may be the immediate problem rather than Galvadia. Tears point and loot and take Pandora together. will maximize their effect. So, uh, monsters come from the moon, and, uh, the lunatic Pandora can amplify, can make the monsters come from the moon. That, that is basically what he's saying. I could have sworn there was a good drop point in here. Well, whatever. Off we go. As soon as you leave, the timer starts. Yeah, yeah. All the elevators are out right now, by the way. That is going to be an important thing, I know, I know, to keep in mind. We cannot take elevators anywhere. And Esther is, like, a really big, you know. But, uh, once again, I know where I'm going. And actually, it should give us a hint when we get to where we're going. Uh, oh, hello there. Uh, is this the right screen? Yeah, yeah, uh, this is it. Wait, there's a guy there. Let's go talk to him.
Uh, what is up with that? Hmm. Whatever. Anyway, uh, we actually need to wait like five minutes for it to get here. <laughs> uh, Cause yeah, it should be uh, it should be right on this screen where it shows up. Maybe I'll just skip to when it's here. Hmm. Okay, timer's ticking in my menu. That's nice. In this case, it is. You are pretty close to having metadata. Then we can get back to this. That'll be nice. Hmm. Wait, wait, I just want to test this. Okay, yeah. Actually, I wonder. Okay, yeah. That is working how I was expecting it to be working. Uh, hmm. I don't know. Uh, do I have any cards I can get rid of right now? Maybe. Aha! No, I can't get rid of that. Damn it! I'm genuinely t well, it's too late to sell it. I could, like, dump it. Hmm. Well, we'll figure that one out later, I guess. Is it here yet? Nope. Two more minutes. Done. Your. I guess that makes sense, yeah. You're completely done. You're almost done. You're almost done. Well, you have one more after this, I guess. So do you. Wait, I have this on... Yeah, that's what I thought. Hmm. Oh yeah, it, Carbuncle has a uh, compatibility through the freaking roof because I summed it like crazy on the disc 2 boss. And that's how that works. Auto potion is nice. Initiative is helpful. Speed is great. Almost have it as well. Paul shop is super useful. Right. Okay. Uh, twenty more seconds. So we are gonna go stand over here. I don't know why that was. I guess it's going all the way up, so you can't reach it. It's probably the thing. And now, here it is. Yeah, that thing is really big. Oh, hey, it's a door! How convenient! Yeah, they pop out here when you show up at all three of the locations. The idea being, I believe, that, uh, well, you have to fight them to get on. Because if we take too long in this battle, uh, we will miss our chance to board. I'm not too worried, personally. Uh, he was up. He's a little bit low. I cannot turn you guys into cards. I suppose I could draw some magic for you guys if I wanted to, but I'm not sure that I do. Oh. No. I just killed the guy with care. Whoops! Oh, you know, I should have 
Shouldn't, no, I shouldn't have attacked him with Gearvine. I should have done it with Zell. Oh well. Well, there's speed plus 40. And we made it. Was that wasn't very hard, was it? Uh now I don't what I don't remember is uh what enemies are on here. Hmm. I think it's mostly soldiers. So Oh. That's cool. So, I think it's mostly soldiers, so I will probably not take off in Counter Time Snug. Uh, you have the speed up. Okay. Um, yes, please. <laughs> I can't really use that. Uh, hmm. I'm pretty sure. Wait, wait a second. Wait a second. Ha! Huh. That's weird. I feel like I'm missing a page. <laughs> uh, I'm not, though. Well, whatever. Whatever. Uh, you, you, you'll, you'll see why- okay, so, well, you won't see because you can't see my book, but, uh... The thing is, it just sort of ends here. Which is, uh, unfortunate! Like, for ends a little- oh, okay, yeah, that's really good. I'm getting really nice magic, that's awesome. But, uh... It's unfortunate that it just sort of ends here. Because, uh... Well, there are a few bosses in here, so it's sort of weird that it doesn't include them. But also... There's stuff. Because you may recognize some of these areas. Uh, we came through here- oh no. No! No! I don't want to be here! Shit. Maybe I got it wrong. Maybe I was mistaken. Okay, I was mistaken. Oof! I thought we were still supposed to get some stuff, though. Like, this this is supposed to happen. But apparently I got the order a little mixed up. Huh. I guess I didn't need to do the level grinding right there. Well, shit. Now I'm going to need to do more level grinding later with Squall to get myself up to the 30 range. And, well, it's not going to be that bad. Irvine is going to be a fucking beast. But, whatever. I needed to do the Malboro stuff anyway. Frankly... <laughs> Frankly, all the grinding was for the Malboro tentacles anyway. <laughs> but I would've... Ki I would've killed less enemies. Had I known that my timing was off on the level grinding. Because I thought we would be fighting a boss right now. Uh, and I would need to be level 30 for that boss. And apparently I was wrong. Apparently, I was wrong. Uh, so, looks like bad stuff is happening. We sort of just got evicted there, but, I mean, we got some good drop points, so I'll take it. And, uh, on that note, I'm gonna stop off here. Join me next time for... Ballroom music. Ho, ho, ho. I wonder what that could be. I think you could probably guess. Uh, until then, this has been Let's Play Final Fantasy 8 with Kiss Blue, and have a great day. Bye!